wanna give you a million things Cause isn't love what it's all about And how to make you smile again Something that I wanna figure out I wanna catch, I wanna catch you Like every time that you fall I wanna give you the world The world that is outside your walls If I was God, I would save you Take you where you belonged If I could, I would get Something new, something new Then I would have what it takes Make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some Hey guys, it's Whitney and today I am bringing you guys a ton of cleaning motivation in today's video. I am going to be completely cleaning my car out and washing it. Um, I take apart my entire couch, disassemble it, and clean that as well. There's a lot of cleaning motivation in this video. I'm also going to be cleaning up my patio and sharing that with you guys finally. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it already, but I don't think I've shown it here on my channel yet, so I'm excited for you guys to see that. Um, there's a grocery haul in this video. We're going to be sharing a new umbrella, and there's just a lot happening in today's video, so let me know what you guys are doing. If you're cleaning along with me, um, are you drinking your morning coffee? Um, let me know in the comments what you guys are doing today while you're watching my video. And we are actually going to start out by cleaning my car out. Now, I was laughing at myself because I did not plan on completely washing the car out. I thought I was going to come in here, get all the stuff out, and give it a quick vacuum. But it was just such a beautiful day out. It was only like 69 degrees. It was almost a little bit chilly. And so I really wanted to take advantage of this time and spend... I don't know, I think it took me about two hours to completely clean the car out, um, and that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to start out by taking all of the trash out, getting anything off the floors and everything like that so that I could get in here and vacuum all of the crumbs up. Now, I know my car looks pretty gross, but I'm embarrassed to admit this. This is not the dirtiest my car has been. So, take that with however you want, but my car has been nasty. Um, there was like, I don't know what this was, a fruit snack or something stuck to the seatbelt here. There was just a lot of crushed up food. I do let my kids eat in the car. We are constantly on the go doing stuff, taking um, more than an hour trip to places. So I do let my kids eat in here. Um, I know that one day they're not going to be that messy and it's just more convenient for me to allow them to have snacks in here than um, to have to stop somewhere and eat because we don't always have time to do that. So anyway, I am going to wipe down my car. I'm just using some method to do this. I know some of my car people are probably cringing because you're not really supposed to use multi-purpose cleaners and stuff on cars. You're supposed to use like a special cleaner designed for cars, but I don't know. I just feel like it works the best. It gets all of the gunk and stickiness off of the car. So that is what I'm going to do here. Give this car a really good wipe down before I start vacuuming. That way, if there was crumbs up high, they were falling down low before I went in here and vacuumed everything up. Something that I would love to have done sooner than later is actually have our car detailed professionally. Um, it's just not something that I can do or really have the tools to do. You know, I don't have any of like the special brushes or anything that really get into the nooks and crannies. I did the best that I could and my husband always compliments me whenever I do clean the car out, but I just don't have the means to be able to really get in here and deep clean. So it is something that I would like to have done but um, I know it's a little bit pricey. I just want 
when I was vacuuming down this back seat, I was laughing because I thought it would be more satisfying to watch this part, but honestly, there was more stuff that needed to be washed off than needed to be vacuumed off. So there was just really not a lot of crumbs on here. It was all just stains and like crusted on food that I needed to get in here and wash off. So uh, it's a little embarrassing, but you know what? This is real life for me. This is mom life. I'm sure if you guys have kids and you let them eat in your car, you know the struggle. And there's just always, always crumbs and goldfish and whatever else stuffed down here in the cracks. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. What's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this page. So in today's video, I tried really hard to incorporate a lot of different angles when I was cleaning, not only in the car, but throughout the entire video. So let me know how you guys are liking that. Um, it does take a little bit longer to film whenever I do have a lot more angles in my videos, um, but I always love how they turn out. I feel like they just turn out a lot more satisfying. You know, you get those close-up angles and those far back angles, and there's just a lot more behind um, the scenes of YouTube than a lot of people realize. And this is just one of those things. But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this page. I wanted to give the back here a really nice vacuum as well. We actually went to the beach recently. We just have like a little um, lake beach near us. So the kids like to go there and there is just a lot of sand and dirt and stuff. So I wanted to go ahead and get that cleaned up as well. And then I did organize all of my bags here um, in the back because I am an Aldi shopper and you need your own bags. So I like to have those handy. I hate when I forget them because then you're kind of just stuck with a bunch of food rolling around in the back of your car. So I always keep those on hand. And now I'm just going to get in here and I'm going to start to wash the seats. Now I only washed the back seats because the front ones were not dirty. Like they did not need to be washed and I wasn't going to waste my time or energy to do that because I still had a lot more I needed to get done. Even though this is the only thing that I did on this particular day. But hey, you know, whatever. Um... And this worked really, really well. I was a little bit skeptical. I wasn't sure how much um, dirt this thing was going to get up, but it did a phenomenal job. Now, as far as the car seats go, I started out by just vacuuming them and I thought it would be good enough, but I noticed some stains. So I don't film it, but I completely disassembled these and threw them into the wash. All right, so we just got back from doing Walmart pickup, which I said I would never do this again because I'm honestly not impressed with whenever they pick out produce, but it's just easier with it being summer, having the kids at home and stuff. So that is what we're doing for the summer. Um, so I figured I would do a grocery haul really quickly. I'm not gonna film putting it away. I'm just gonna show you guys what we got. So starting over here, I got a can of paint spray because I actually want to add a fresh coat of paint onto our patio table, which I will be doing later in this video. Um, I got some bread. We've been really loving the potato bread. I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but it is so good. Um, Danimals, some Parmesan cheese. Now, this just irritates me <laughs> beyond belief. They like hand, single-handedly picked each banana 
off of the bunch, which whenever that happens, the bayonets go bad a lot faster. And this just irritates me. So I don't know who has been doing this at Walmart because they never used to do this to me, but this is just, I feel like this is not okay. And they, are they doing it on purpose? <laughs> I don't really know. Um, I got some salami for sandwiches. I got this beef steak. It doesn't really feel like a lot, so I'm a little bit disappointed in that because this was like $5 and it's literally half the bag is full. So that's really irritating. Um, and then I got a taco kit because we are going to do tacos one night this week. A couple things of pretzels. These are my favorite. Um, and then the kids love these. We did get quite a bit of snacks, so don't judge me, but we were running out of snacks. So this is more of like a snack stock up. Um, animal crackers. We got two things of whipped cream because Tim and I both love this on our coffee. Um, some mini oranges, clementines, mandarin oranges, whatever you want to call them. Um, some grapes, which they did a pretty good job of picking those out. I'm really picky about grapes. In particular, um, I have a red pepper and a green pepper. Don't ask me why. One is in a bag and one isn't. Couldn't tell ya. Um, I got a pound of ground beef, huge thing of bacon, some lunch meat, garlic bread. I'm doing chicken cacciatore this week, so I decided to do that as a side. I got this Tostino's party pizza packs. Um, I thought these would be great for whenever like the kids have their friends over and I just need to make like a quick, easy lunch. I got those for that. Um, some mini muffins. I did originally have the party pack size of this one, but they were out and only substituted for one box instead of two, which that never makes any sense to me, but whatever. I know I'm like totally hating on Walmart pickup right now, but it's the only convenient thing for me right now. Um, fruit snacks. I have a thing of chips. Milk, Pop-Tart bites, um, some hash browns. I'm actually gonna do breakfast for dinner this week. Now, I know it looks like I don't have a lot of stuff for dinners, but I actually have like a stockpile of meat and like pasta and stuff. I can just whip things up. I don't need a whole lot of stuff for dinners this week. Um, and then I got some Glade fresheners and carpet powder. If you guys can't tell, this is my favorite scent. Um, and that is actually all I got. It's nothing crazy, just mostly snacks. We are having friends over and stuff tomorrow and I want to make sure I have a decent amount of stuff both for the week ahead and for while they're here because y'all know kids love their snacks. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks. So Barrett and Savannah actually spent the weekend with their grandparents. Um, my husband and I celebrated our four year anniversary. So they took the kids for the weekend and we just made a weekend out of it. Um, we got dinner at a fancy restaurant on Friday, which is so out of character for us. We are not fancy people, but it was just really nice to be able to do that. Um, and then we walked around downtown, um, got a few beers at a local brewery because my sister, my brother-in-law, and one of my best friends from high school all work there. So that was really fun. I killed three birds with one stone. Um, and then the next day on Saturday, we took a hike because that was something that we loved to do before we had children. And my husband actually proposed to me on top of a mountain. So... We tried to go do that same hike, but for whatever reason, all of the parking for it was closed down. I don't know if they're like remodeling it or something. So we did do another hike. It was a lot of fun. And then we made some steaks and chilled at home and watched Manifest for hours. If you guys have never watched Manifest, it is so good. I highly recommend it. It's about a plane that goes missing. And then five years later, it returns and everybody had thought they were dead. And it's just such a great show. Um, so anyway, not to get too off topic here, I wanted to wash all of the sheets because the kids have been gone all weekend, um, they really needed to be bathed, sheets needed to be washed, their blankets, clothes, everything, so I really wanted to take a few minutes to do that. 
Um, I had already washed the sheets before I started filming, so here I'm just reassembling the beds and getting the rooms cleaned up and just kind of everything put back together. Threw some carpet powder down, vacuumed that up just to kind of refresh everything. And the rooms were smelling and looking so much better after I did this. Falling out, we have reached disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after. And we do it all again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again. We're falling, falling down, we faded. But I know, I know that we can save it. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of freakers down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega Like the waves pull you down underwater We're fun until we hit the bottom now we're gonna get the kitchen cleaned up and this was actually a little bit later in the day this was after dinner time um, we had tacos for dinner as you can see and I just wanted to get the kitchen cleaned up put everything away I still had some stuff out from when we went grocery shopping earlier in the day and I just needed to spend some time in here and get everything put back together um, I'm also going to be trying out a few new products and like cleaning hacks here in the kitchen so I'm excited to show you guys that. But first, I wanted to get these dishes done. Um, I don't know, for whatever reason, my sink was really dirty this day and it was bothering me. So I wanted to get the dishes put away so that I could get in here and really scrub the sink down. I'm usually pretty adamant about sink cleaning. I do this every single night, but we were just so busy over the weekend that I had not gotten around to it. So I just wanted to take this few minutes scrub the sink down. Um, I'll be using like a little garbage disposal pod to refresh in that as well and just get everything looking and smelling clean in the kitchen sink. So two weeks in one of my videos, I asked you guys to ask me questions in the comments to answer in some videos. So I figured I would maybe answer some in this video and answer some in the next video. That way we always have something to talk about. Um, so I'm going to answer this one because a lot of you guys actually asked this question and um, it's basically what my favorite type of music is and favorite TV shows. So as far as music goes, I am into metal. I love more alternative rock type of music. I also love 90s music. I could jam out to 90s music all the time, but I definitely gravitate towards um, more rock and metal. We are actually going to a rock festival in September, and I'm really excited about that because some of my favorite bands are playing. Um, 
and they change from season to season it really just depends i would say my favorite bands right now um i've been really into listening to asking alexandra i've always loved them but they're always a go-to for me i also love a day to remember they are by far one of my favorite bands of all time their new album is really good they're going to be at the festival and i'm really excited about that and gosh there's just so many i honestly don't really have a favorite it just depends on my mood <laughs> So, um, I do listen to those two bands a lot, and then I still listen to, like, my emo quote-on-quotations music from high school, um, Taking Back Sunday, Senses Fail, um, My Chemical Romance, The Used, literally all those bands I could still listen to, and they're still favorites of mine. Um, I also really enjoy Avenged Sevenfold, definitely a band I would like to see live, I haven't gotten to see live, so... Yeah, and um, as far as TV shows go, I love anything crime-related, Law and Order, um, true crime, literally anything suspenseful, period, at all. Mystery shows, those kinds of things are right up my alley, so yeah. So here really quickly, I'm going to clean off my glass stovetop, um, and I got this hack idea from Jamie from um, Jamie's Journey. She did this in a recent video and it just looked really satisfying and I actually already had both of these products on hand. I tried to use this pink stuff in my oven when I was cleaning it, it out, if you guys um, realized the same product. Um, <clears throat> and it worked out really, really well on this glass top. I mean, beautifully. If I had finished off with a glass cleaner, this thing probably would have turned out a lot better, but it still turned out really good. Um, and I already had the Scrub Mommy on hand because I had picked up a Scrub Mommy and Scrub Daddy at the store like a month ago and I just hadn't had use for it yet. And so when I saw her doing it, I was like, ooh, I have to try that. So I was very excited to show that for you guys in today's video. And if you have a glass stove top, I highly recommend using those two products because it looks beautiful after. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different I also picked up this stainless steel cleaner off Amazon. It was like $15 and it also came with a microfiber towel, which always love an, an extra one of those. Um, and this was so easy to put on. You basically just rub it all over the appliance and then you buff it out one time and it looks perfect. So I was definitely very excited about this product. I will leave it linked down below in my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested. Now, another question that I got asked, and I thought this one was fun, is what is my go-to mom drink? And I would say anything coffee. I love coffee. Um, and my Starbucks order that I like to get pretty often is a grande iced white chocolate mocha. And then instead of whipped cream, I, asked, I ask for cold foam and then caramel swirl. And it is so good. If you guys have never tried it, definitely go try it. And they're actually having an offer on Starbucks app right now. If you order just one white chocolate mocha, you get, I think it's 50 bonus stars. So if you guys have the Starbucks app, definitely go check and see if you have that same offer. Because I'm definitely going to be getting one of those probably today. So I got two variations of the same question. One of them was what are some activities that the kids and I like to do and the other one was what are some activities and hobbies that I like to do. So I'm going to try to like combine them into one question. Um, as far as the kids go, 
I love my kids to death, but they are like those kids that whenever you try to do anything fun with them, they complain about it. So it's really hard for me to enjoy doing things with them because it, it just feels like a chore half the time. Um, but I try to have like pool days with them. So now that we have our patio, we just spend all day outside. Um, we have a little pool set up, which you guys will see here very shortly on the patio. And I have like a bunch of pool toys and we just sit out there all day long and they love it. We also have a play set that they like to play on. So that is something that we like to do. Um, as far as family goes, really the only thing that we do as a family right in this moment is we go on evening walks every single evening. It's just something that we've always done and love to do. The kids have their scooters they like to ride. Um, my son also just learned how to ride a bike and we're actually getting Savannah a bike for her birthday coming up. So we will be able to do that. And Tim and I hope to get bikes next summer so that we can all just ride bikes together as a family around our neighborhood. Um, Savannah likes to do Play-Doh and literally any type of activity um, that's like craft related, she loves it. Barrett, not so much. He would rather just be playing with toys or he's starting to be a little gamer. He has a few games on his tablet that he likes to play which is funny because Tim and I both like to play games. So, um, and as far as myself goes, I think I've answered this question before on my channel, but I like to read. Um, I'm really into like fantasy type of novels. Um, right now I'm reading ACOTAR is like the acronym for it. It's a corn, a corn, <laughs> a court of thorns and roses. Um, I'm reading that now and they're actually coming out with a series on Hulu. So I'm trying to read it before that happens and I'm loving it so far. It's very good. If you guys are into fantasy, um, books, I highly recommend this series. And honestly, that's really it. <laughs> I don't really do anything else for fun. I don't have time to do stuff for fun. Um, and when I do, I like to read a book. So now I am going to straighten up our patio. We actually had friends over this day, so it was a mess. There was trash everywhere, toys everywhere, so I really just wanted to spend a few minutes out here and get it all picked up, and it was hot, you guys. It was almost 100 degrees when I was out here filming. Um, so if I look like I'm about to melt away, that's why, because it was just, it was pretty unbearable this day. Um, our friends actually left a lot earlier than they normally do because it was just so hot and the kids were cranky and it just, it was just not as good of a time as we had thought. So I'm going to take a few minutes here, get everything picked up, um, and then I'm going to share an umbrella with you guys that we are very excited about. So the rest of the questions I will answer in my next video because I just didn't have time to do them all today. Um, and I'm sorry for yapping your all's ears off. If I talk too much, just please tell me. I know some people don't like when I talk a lot in my videos, but other people do. And it is sometimes really hard to find that balance. So I need you guys 
to guide me here a little bit. And now I'm going to share with you guys our new patio umbrella stand and umbrella that we got from Abba Patio. Now we actually have a huge 10 foot red umbrella from Abba Patio. Um, I think it was like two years ago now. And we love that umbrella, but we wanted to keep it up on the deck for up there because the deck gets really hot. So we did get another one for our table down here. Um, and we got the stand. So that way, in case we want to take the umbrella out of the table, we could put it somewhere else on the patio. We do have the option to do that. And the stand was really easy to put together. And then you just fill it up with water to give it some weight. Um, and I love this umbrella, you guys. It is so pretty. You will see it here in a second. Um, I did get the black and white striped umbrella. I believe it's a nine foot. So it's still pretty big. It covers pretty much the entire table and chairs area. And it just looks really nice. It goes up really easy, comes down really easy. It also tilts. So if it's really sunny and you want more shade, you can tilt the umbrella. And I love that. And it does come with a little hook on the umbrella to um, attach it together. So I love that. I love this umbrella. It just looks really nice out there and they are great quality. So if you guys want to check out um, Abba Patio for yourself, I will leave some links in my description box so that you guys can go browse their website and maybe find an umbrella that you love. Anyways, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and loved it, and I hope that you leave inspired and motivated to get some cleaning done in your home today. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!